I think the next step, and we're all understanding that, is that all these new agents that may be targeting some specific pathways in prostate cancer progression are going to be finding a place. There's very intriguing data, for instance, in the DNA repair gene alteration pathways that we will have to take to the clinic. And again, one of the biggest questions is, are we going to do it earlier rather than later? We saw some very interesting data yesterday with that effort being done in breast cancer in the far advanced disease setting. Yes, you see the benefit, but try to think how this benefit will translate in earlier disease where these pathways of progression are more dominant rather than later where we get the accumulation of many different mutations. The landscape, the mutational is very rich. Maybe it's more difficult to get that benefit and have a meaningful impact on our patient's life. Definitely, there are rules, there are regulations in how we do our clinical research, but we need to look above the horizon here and just shoot for what will be best to improve their lives.